Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Right beside me, I have a 2023 Jayco Eagle HT. This is a 31 MB model. It's unique because it's the only HT model that has a mid bunk or mid office. It's got a bonus room, really cool. But hey, before we get started, let me show off my personal three favorite things about this model. Come on. Number one, this is optioned with a security camera up here, a full observation system. Number two, this has a ginormous dinette in the back. And number three, maybe my favorite, it's got a mid-office, mid-bunk, it's a bonus room. Okay, let's do a tour on the outside before we go on the inside. We're about 12,700-ish fully loaded weight, a little over 37 feet long. So this isn't a small fifth wheel. In fact, it's the largest of the HT line, but pretty abundant storage on the underneath side. Check this out. We've got pass-through storage that goes all the way through to the other side. I have motion sensor lights in here. I've got coax cable and household current. If you need to plug in some lights or maybe you have a scooter or something you wanna charge overnight, you can run the cords up through here and charge them and close this door so it's fully enclosed. Now remember, this all this area, this basement area is receiving heat when your furnace is kicking on in the winter time. So it maintains, a you got climate control under here. So if it gets bitter cold, you're in good shape underneath and that's important. This is a four season fifth wheel. You can stay in this down into the bitter cold temps down to a zero, zero degree mark. It's tested to zero degrees. Now, if you like to cook outside, and you probably do if you're camping, Jayco makes a provision for that. This is called a J-Port and there's a platform they give you on which to put an outdoor griddle or grill of your choosing. It's right here, pop it out and it's a platform. Now you can use this as a table or anything. So what you're gonna do is open up this little lid right here and slide it in. It's just like a hitch receiver on the back of your trailer. Now I have a cooking platform. It's actually in a box. Your griddle's in a box under the bed and you can put that down here. You have a quick connect, propane quick connect under here. So now I can cook outside. I have a little utensil storage drawer drink refrigerator, have power, light switches in here. So in a sense, it's an outdoor kitchen. You don't have a sink out here, but you do have a spray port. Jayco is starting to go to spray ports instead of sinks because when they would put a sink in a tray that moves in and out over and over, it might be prone to leaking. Now you get a spray port so you can wash off those dishes and stuff out here. So on this side, you've got a propane tank You've also got a tank on the other side of the unit. I'll show you in the front here real quick. Got a lot of storage up here. Now, if this unit was gen prepped, and it's not, but if it was, your generator would go in there. You could still add a generator to this. We just don't have it gen prepped from the factory. So you get that much more storage up here. Uh, I have our power cord in here at the moment. But lawn chairs and different things like that you can store up there. This is our battery compartment here. So you can, uh, you will put fresh batteries in this before you take delivery so they're good and fresh batteries. Now, coming over on what I generally call the utility side of the trailer, <clears throat> this is where the hookups are and everything. We have our second propane bottle inside here. It's the opposite side of our pass-through storage. You can see there's a diamond plating flooring in here. I have our battery disconnect, our auto level switches in here, and then all of our wet bay connections all in here. They're nicely labeled, so it takes the guesswork out of how to hook up and have your settings depending on if you're dry camping or you're out in the, bo you're out in the boondocks or you're using city water at a campground. Don't be intimidated. Just set these knobs according to the little guide here and you're good to go. Now, I mentioned the auto level switch in here. Remember, you can also control that inside the coach. And finally, you can, you can control it from the app on your phone, which is my personal favorite because I can pull it up on my phone and watch this slide come out at the campsite. So if there's a big old tree or a rock or something here, I can be out here extending the slide and watching it while I'm doing that. You can, and you can deploy the jacks, you can control lighting, climate control, lots of other features on the app that you can put on your phone. 
Now remember, this is climate controlled again, so when your furnace cycles on, it's throwing heat down here. Um, I mentioned a spray port on the other side. You do have hot and cold outdoor shower here with a quick connect. We'll give you a hose that's a quick connect on there. So if you're at the beach, sandy feet, stinky dog, stinky spouse, <laughs> you can wash, wash everything off out here and keep the mess out here before you go inside the coach. This is a 50 amp detachable power cord. I like that Jayco has put a little green light on top here. That tells me right away that I have power up to this point. It's helpful for troubleshooting as well. If you're having a power issue at some point inside the coach, the first thing I'd do is come out and see if that green light's on. If it is, then you know you've got power up to this point. Um, this is our furnace vent here, of course. Now, all the Eagles moving forward have tankless water heaters, tankless on-demand water heaters, and this is great. One thing to keep in mind is not all water heaters are created equal. Not all tankless water heaters are created equal. This is 60,000 BTUs compared to 40-some thousand that you're going to see on a lot of competition. 60,000 BTUs on this tankless water heater means you'll have perpetual hot water and plenty of it when you need it. Now, Unique to Jayco is the way they do all of their sidewalls. They're vacuum bonded, so that's pretty significant. A lot of manufacturers do what they call pinch rolling on the fiberglass walls. They basically hang the fiberglass. Jayco puts this in what I refer to as a giant food saver for a fiberglass wall. It really, really it's basically like shrink wrapping, right? So it squeezes it real tight, distributes all the adhesive, and virtually removes the possibility of the wall becoming delaminated over time. 144 tons of pressure. It's a lot. Okay, coming back here, you have our, this is the back of your refrigerator uh, vent that you would access if you ever needed to service service the unit and then coming around to the back of the coach we're going to have a ladder to access the roof go up there a couple times a year check the seals and that kind of thing this is unusual on this model because of the way it's designed you get a little bonus storage area back here this actually is underneath this back dinette area but it's pretty handy to have this back here normally you just get that pass through area up front now this does have a towing package on it and it's standard. So this is a 3,000 pound hitch rating right here, 300 pounds of weight on the hitch or you can pull three, up to 3,000 pounds. So a small ATV, a boat, something like this, you could pull behind here if local laws, uh, laws allow it. And you have a four-way plug right here for your lights as well. Most people are gonna use this as a little uh, storage platform for maybe um, a mobility scooter, firewood, an extra grill, bikes. Bike carrier goes on here really nicely. So that's how that's going to get used. I mentioned cameras as my three fa one of my three favorite things. That's part of it. So you have your rear view camera up there. You get your camera at the door and then you have side view cameras as well. So all the way around this, you can keep an eye on things, including when you're going down the road. So when you put this thing in reverse, you're gonna see straight down back of the unit. So if your spouse is back here, you don't run over them, right? Or if there's a rock or a tree, you don't hit it. Now, when you hit your right turn signal, the right camera is gonna give you a view down the right side of the coach, left side, left side of the coach. It really removes the blind spots and it's great. It's hot here today. We have the air conditioner running, which is why you're seeing condensate drop here. Notice Jayco puts these little downspout extenders up there to keep the water from running down the side of the coach to dripping right here. A lot of, uh, it's, it's a very inexpensive thing that Jayco does, but it's nice because it's not streaking down the side here. Now, not to say that some of this water won't blow up here. Sometimes it does. I'm gonna do a quick tip video on how to remove that possibility with some PVC. It's a fun little afternoon project. We'll do that sometime soon. Coming around on this side, I have to point this out, two plus three warranty. This is an industry leading warranty that Jayco has two years is covering all the gadgetry inside this unit and the build quality, three years structural. When you're shopping around, and you should, you'll see three-year warranties a lot. But what that is is across the industry, it's a structural warranty. That's pretty common. 
you're going to see that most manufacturers. What you won't see is a two-year limited warranty. It's going to be one year at most in most cases. Now, before we go on the inside, I want to show you these nice steps, which are now standard on all these units. You can see that it makes contact with the ground. So each one of these legs is adjustable. And to do that, just lift up here and push in on this tab. And these legs go in and out. So if you're on uneven ground, you'll always have firm contact with the ground. Also, it's like zero gravity. This is not going to come crashing down on your head. When these first came out, Jayco did not adopt them because they had not refined the technology. This thing would and could and often did come crashing down on people's heads. So Jayco said, no, we'll wait. When they finally came up with this spring mechanism to where it's got this sort of zero gravity effect, Jayco said, good, we're in. Pop this in here for travel, close the door, pop the grab handle in, and you're ready for travel. It's just that easy. So opening it up in reverse order, simply grab a hold of here, pull it down, and you're good to go. I do have JBL speakers out here, JBL branded in entertainment system and speakers on the inside as well as out here. JBL's a great brand, I love it. And there's a courtesy light here, which we can't see because it's uh, daylight, but there's a nice blue light under here, which makes uh, entering and exiting the coach a lot safer. All right, enough of the outside, let's go inside. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 31 MB. That's mid bunk, that's what makes this model special. You have a mid bunk, a mid office, a bonus room, however you want to use it. I've had folks buy these to make it into a quilting room, a kid's playroom, a home office. If you work from the road, uh, most often it's a, it's a bonus room for the kids to go hang out, watch movies, and sleep, right? So however you want to use it, it's neat to have a bonus room in an RV. But before we get into that, I'll go around the back part of the coach here and the galley. Now notice we have us opposing slides here, and anytime you have opposing slides, it really opens up the floor plan. Also allows us to have a nice sized island right here in the middle. So along with this island, I'll just talk real quickly. We have a sink strainer, cutting board, high-rise matte black faucet. We have power accessible, so I can put a coffee maker or a blender or whatever on here. Storage underneath here. Turning right around, this is what my mother-in-law used to refer to as a one-butt kitchen. All right, there's one butt right in here that's doing the cook, and y'all stay away while I, while I do my thing. But there's enough room, and actually two people could be. Somebody could be prepping here while somebody's working on the range. But we have a three-burner cooktop here with backlit controls. A modest sized little oven, enough for pot pies, pizzas, and stuff like that, and then a storage drawer below that. Up on top, a nice sized and larger microwave than it used to be. Uh, nice sized microwave, lighted and vented to the outside. Now, I gotta brag on Jayco's cabinet build a little bit. Jayco builds all their cabinetry in house, and they take it very seriously. All the, the doors and all the drawer fronts on Jayco's are, are hardwood maple, not particle board with tape on it or OSB with tape. It's all solid maple. They're glued and screwed together. They're full extension drawer glides with ball bearing drawer glides. And they, I just love this because I've had cheaper RVs in the past where the drawer only came out that far and you're reaching in there trying to dig out things full extension drawer glides, really nice. Now this unit's got a 13 and a half cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. So we have double doors on the bottom, double doors on the top. So plenty of room for storing those groceries for that extended trip. So one way you can save money when you're uh, RVing too, especially if you got a bu bunch of little munchkins running around, you can put a lot of food in there, eat breakfast, eat lunch in the RV, Maybe splurge and go out in the evening occasionally, but you can save money by doing that. Little quick tip there. Now, our entertainment area, and the, it's kind of segueing into the living room back here. 
Smart TV, this is an insignia brand, Smart TV. It's easy to mirror your phone. Uh, you can put apps on there and so on. But Jayco moved to all Smart TVs in 2023 in Eagles, North Points, Pinnacles. Up here, we have not only power, but we have an HDMI cable waiting right up there. If you want to put another component, it's already connected to the TV here. Your JBL speakers here, you've got a couple different zones. You can power just these speakers. You can power the speakers up above. You can power the speakers out on the patio all separately. Have a fireplace. So a lot of people give me that eye roll when I say fireplace in an RV. It's a fancy space heater that looks like a fireplace. So if you paid your 50 or 60 bucks, pop that thing on use the campground's power source, electricity, instead of your own propane to knock the chill off of this. Now, TV's here. I have a pretty decent viewing angle, whether I'm sitting here at the dinette or this huge sofa over here. Pretty much anybody sitting around this dinette has a good viewing angle of the TV. Now, here's another bonus. In addition to the bonus room, this drops down to become another bed. So if the kids decide to bring the cousin along or a friend, this will convert into a bed and it's plenty big enough for an adult to sleep, uh, sleep in as well. Now moving over here, the sofa, I've got four separate reclining sections. There's a little tab right there that you just pull on to recline. And the end ones have this little tray, enough for a place setting cup holder right here. If you don't want them, just pop it out. You can toss it under the bed up front or whatever. But you have a cup holder there, and you don't lose the cup holder by putting this in here. Swing it out of the way when you don't need it. So four different seating positions. I've had people ask me, well, I can't see the TV from down there. Actually, you can. So even if I'm seated here, I can see the TV. Maybe a child might have a problem. No, actually, if, even if I'm down here, I can still see the TV. So four people can be seated here. Several people around the dinette see the TV from, from any angle. You have USB ports galore. So I've got them here. I've got them on the other side. We've got household current here. So if you're sitting here and you want to be charging your iPad or your phone or your laptop, right there you can do it have a GFI protected outlet right here on the back side of the island. Uh, it's good to familiarize yourself with the electrical components and where the breakers are in case you ever do need to troubleshoot. Um, if you pop a GFI, then everything downstream from that GFI is not going to work. So we got a GFI right here, know how to reset them and know what's downstream. Ask your technician when you take delivery of any RV, hey, what's downstream from this GFI so I know? Make a note of it. Before I show off the rest of the unit, check out this pantry. First of all, you can use this as a liquid chalkboard, which is really great. You can put your day-to-day -day schedule, your shopping list, activities, whatever. Kind of neat to have that on there. But boom, we have a motion sensor light. All these shelves are adjustable, so no matter what height of items you have to put in there, you'll be in good shape. It's housing my backpack right now, but you can use this as a pantry. You can put extra clothes in there, however you want. Motion sensor light and a really strong magnetic catch. You have to actually give this a tug to open that up. That's really great. Now, before we show off that special bonus room, right inside the entry door here, this is pretty cool, have these little corner cabinets. They're not huge, but they're big enough for like dog leashes, poop bags, whatever, right in here where you need a flashlight, whatever, right inside the door. Now, this is sort of the brains of the coach. So if I go to home, this is our BM Pro touchpad. I can control our climate control right here. These are our tank levels. The little gear is all the motors, so our leveling, our awning, our slide outs are all controlled here. And then I have lighting shortcuts here too. And these are actual just old fashioned switches. So if for some reason this were to ever go out, and we don't see many problems with these, but if you did have a problem, you can simply hit that button to turn the lights on or off. It's just an old fashioned hardwired switch. Same way with these little buttons here. If I hit this little arrow once, A1 is awning. 
S1 is slide 1, slide 2, and so on, slide 3, and then extend or retract. So it's always nice to have a redundancy if you ever need it. Now, if you've watched any of my videos at all, you know that this little button here is, of course, a grenade launcher for personal security. Not really. It's a thermistor. It's sampling the air temperature, sending that information back here so you have a constant, even temperature inside the coach. All right. Now, boom, let's go in here. This is our bonus room. You can use it any way you like. Now, I have the bunk down right now. Jayco puts these stickers on here, which are a little bit misleading. It looks like 300 pounds up and 600 pounds down. 300 pounds for Jayco's definition is how wide it is. So if it's a single bunk, and this is a single bunk, it's 300 pounds. If this bunk was down here, that's also 300 pounds. Now here's the cool thing. If you don't want this bunk, just pop this latch up here and it's out of the way. You can actually remove this out completely if you don't, and you just wanted this to be a playroom or something, and I've had some customers that do that. But maybe you want to sleep a couple kids in here. The little one gets this one, and you want to convert this into a bed. Simply pull these off of here. Lift up the front of this and pull forward. Pop the legs down and put the back down. Boom, I have a bed. I would sleep there. Um, a couple could sleep there as long as they like each other. But certainly a child could sleep there and his or her brother or sister could sleep up here. So you can put a couple kids in here. Sounds like fun to me. Putting it up just in reverse order. Pop this back part. Pop this up. Boom, boom. Put our cushions back. Really simple. Used to be a production to do this kind of thing. Now, super easy. And you got your cup holders here. Got your power and USB on either side so you can charge things. Now, um, the 355 Eagle has a desk here on the HT line. You just have storage. So I have a bay of drawers here. So I've got four drawers, full extension. They're not super deep, but there's a good amount of storage in here and it doesn't take up a lot of the real estate inside this bonus room. I mentioned uh, fuses and breakers. So here's where the bulk of them live on this unit. These are your 120 volt breakers. These are your 12 volt fuses up here. They are all labeled right here as well. So kind of familiarize yourself with what's on here. If you forget, never fear, you can reference it right here. So again, if you have an electrical problem, start outside, see if that green light's on, see if a GFI's popped, and then start coming in here and see if one of these breakers has been tripped. Just like at home, you're gonna reset it just like you would at home. And then we've got a little more storage up here. Jayco puts guest struts here to hold these doors open while you access the contents. If you want to add a TV in here, you can. This area is reinforced to uh, hold a TV bracket and you could put a TV or maybe even a computer monitor up here for the kiddos or if you're working from the road. All right, good stuff. Let's go on up into the bedroom area. So let me show off the bathroom on this unit. We have a glass shower enclosure here. We have a porcelain foot flush toilet, a nice size basin sink, and a medicine cabinet. Everything you need. I like to step in the shower for spatial reasons. I'm six feet tall, average build. I have plenty of headroom here. I can be a few inches taller and, thanks to this skylight and still have plenty of room to do what I need to do in a shower. It's a one-piece shower surround, nice big shower wand up here, and a three-piece glass shower enclosure. My recommendation, keep a little squeegee and squeegee that off. Also, I'm a firm believer in checklists, so before you take off on a trip, make sure that this is latched like that. Otherwise, when you're going down the road, this thing's going bang, 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 and it may end up breaking. So, as I break it for you, make sure that's latched on there. Jayco does a great job reinforcing the base of the showers, too. Believe it or not, a lot of brands don't. Jayco does put plywood under these, so you're not 
causing that pee trap to give up and down as you're stepping in and out of the shower. A lot of people also worry about the bottom of the shower surround. They, they're afraid that it's going to leak. There's actually a lip that goes around this whole shower base, so water's not going to get up in there. It's designed to give a little bit. Don't worry about having to put caulk around there. In fact, I wouldn't if I were you, but just so you know. Now, inside here, hey, what do you think about this blue, all right? Navy blue. This is the only blue that shows up anywhere on this unit. I ask this from time to time. I'm curious what you think. Is this a thumbs up for you? A thumbs down? Or I don't really care either way. The more I see it, the more it kind of grows on me. I'm also curious what you think about a tankless water heater. They're standard on all these right now, and our control is right here on the wall for the tankless water heater. Got our blue up here on the medicine cabinet too. Nice to have a medicine cabinet to put hairbrushes and stuff for people who use hairbrushes. I don't. What's behind door number three? So I'll show you on the other side, but if you want to put a washer and dryer combo unit, you can in this unit. This shelf would come out. It's prepped for washer and dryer. If not, you have that much more uh, closet space. So you have a closet rod up here, all this room to store linens and stuff. If you don't put a washer and dryer in there and little cubbies in here for more linens as well. Now let's show off the bedroom area here. Oh, before we do, right here's a couple switches. We have a light switch for up above here. I have another thermistor and then your security camera. This is important. So this security camera, which is in this box, can be used for keeping an eye on the things around your unit when you're parked. But this switch has to be on because it'll send power to all those camera locations. The reason they couldn't do this in the past was when you got to your campsite, turned the unit off, turned your truck off, there was no power going to those camera locations. They're being powered from your truck. Now there's a switch for that and you can keep an eye on the door, on the back, on either side. Pretty cool feature and I really like that. So this unit is optioned with a king bed. Huge king bed, looks just like home. And as I often say, the great thing about a king bed in an RV is it's a king bed. If you got a king bed at home, you got a king bed out here. The bad thing about a king bed in an RV is it's a king bed. It takes up this entire bedroom. Now on this HT line, there's the, the bedroom's not in a slide, so we don't have a slide going out and creating more room at the foot of the bed. There's precious little room on either side of this. I can get in here to make the bed. I can get in here, get in out of the coach. However, there's very little room. Now, if it's important to you to have a king bed just like you do at home, bingo, you're in luck. You can put a smaller mattress on this, but this was option with a king bed. I have reading lights up above here. Each side has its own switch, so you can control that to your wishes. Little storage compartment, shelves on either side as well. Now this has two AC units. I got one here, I got one up front. And uh, so if you're in a warm climate, Arizona, Florida, Texas, you're gonna appreciate that. If you wanna add a TV, it's prepped for a TV, just like the bunk room right there, we can add a TV of your choosing. And then this compartment where the washer and dryer would go. So again, right in here, washer and dryer, this gets removed. Your dryer vent would go there. We can install these for you. You can have it done later if you wish. And if not, you have this much more storage for the unit. So you know, there's not a ton of storage here anyway, and you might appreciate having more closet space or some closet space, and you would get that here. Either way, it's prepped for washer and dryer, and the next owner might appreciate having that too. Got a couple drawers below here, but it's nice having this flex space here. And again, this shelf easily removes to create a bigger space here to, to hang uh, hanging clothes and stuff. All right, so this has been the 31MB, the Eagle HT 31MB, the only HT that has a mid-bunk, mid-office bonus room in it. Now, if you're curious if your current truck can pull this or you're truck shopping and you wanna make sure you get the right truck to pull it, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. If I don't have the right answer, I'll do my best to get it for you. I sit beside two of the best technicians in all of North Texas. If I can't get the answer, they always have the answer. Hey, 
why don't you click like and subscribe below if you enjoy these videos and just leave a comment I like hearing from you that way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this my name is Mike Drudge thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time